Rob today on War and Pieces we are going to be looking at you know this seems like a uh, just a, a common occurrence here is talking about how great Compass Games has been uh, putting out some fantastic unbelievable the uh, designs and today is no different because uh, we're going to be taking a look at the lamps are going out World War one this is the second edition now the first edition was good but there's been plenty of improvements so we're not going to go into explaining the game we're going to talk a little bit about um, how beautiful this is and um, uh, we'll come back up and we'll talk more about uh, some of the things that have changed with the game so uh, let's go down and take a look at just another amazing production from our good friends over at Compass Games. All right, I really wanted to take some time and show you this exquisite mounted map. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. And and probably one of the best maps that they have put out in, in, in quite some times. And they've been putting out some great stuff. So when I tell you this is fantastic, it's fantastic. The counters are, are some of the best counters I've seen uh, in, in a long time, you know, you don't have to clip them for those guys that like to clip them. Uh, clip them. Um, the cards, again, the art is absolutely fantastic. Um, as you can see, everything just spelled out nice and clean, good quality. Uh, technology cards, the same thing. These are just interesting in how the, they work. Um, they, you know, you're going to pull these during your production phase and you're going to try to um, build up certain things and, and uh, build up your technologies and uh, use it to your advantage. The gameplay, uh, like I said, I'm not going to go through it all, but you're going to have an event card phase. You're going to be playing one of your event cards and uh, a lot of times there'll be tokens that uh, sometimes are going to assist certain areas. You're going to make sure that they're placed. You're going to have a movement phase where you're going to be moving, uh, you know, maybe moving units to another area. Then uh, from there, you're going to have your combat phase where you're going to be resolving your naval combat if you have any kind of uh, naval combat. Guerrilla combat, which is kind of an attack, but before you attack in a way. Um, then you're going to resolve your ground combat, uh, and then um, whoever wins that, depending on the role, is going to uh, be spent, and then they will not be able to, if they are attacked for, uh, uh, once again, uh, they'll be gone. Uh, sometimes when you attack, you are also going to end up spent. Uh, you're going to run into your production phase, as I said. You're going to check for any blockades, resolve any events that happen. Um, you're going to uh, resolve U-boat attrition. That's uh, for the German only. Um, receive transferal uh, production. Then you're going to uh, you're going to do your production uh, spending. Uh, you're going to construct trenches. Even though you know earlier I said uh, that's all they think of World War One is as a trench thing, but they do help you, of course. And then technology advances. Like I said, when you pull those cards, you're going to advance your technology. A regroup phase where you're going to determine air superiority, and then you're going to reset your heavy artillery, and then go back to the top and move your turn counter, and you are off and running for another turn. Uh, this game just... It covers everything that you would hope a game of this this just magnitude covers. And as you see, you know, it's just made easy. All your terrain, uh, whatever, your production areas, your flag areas, you know, breaks everything down. Everything's in front of you like you like to have. Um, fantastic designer notes are also in here that do a fantastic job. And, and, and they're very nice because they explain what they learned from the first edition and how they incorporated it into the second edition and really made this and, and of course they thank the fans for all their input and everything and do a fantastic job they talk about some of the things that they changed russian occupation uh event cards russian winter and then an explanation for all the cards and introducing the couple of new cards that they have they have a player supplement that is just absolutely clear 
cut and to the point. Breaks down everything that you need. Your quick reference rules, where to find certain things. This is just done so doggone well. And then over here, uh, explaining how to uh, your force pool summary and setup and how to get this bad boy going. Uh, just fantastically done. Beautiful. You know, you talk about a production phase. Well, let me tell you something. If anybody has a great production phase, it's our good friends at, at um, Compass Games who are just knocking it out of the park. This is the year of Compass Games, I will tell you this. So let's t send it up top and get my final thoughts on this fantastic experience. The lamps are going out version two. Now, learning this game is no easy task, okay? Um, the first one, there, there, there kind of was a little bit of confusion, but um, a lot of that has been uh, cleared up, especially with the Russian occupation, the winter aspects, and balancing has been uh, some things. There's been some cards that have been added to balance. I believe 101 and 108 are cards that you can either have come in or taken out. The real beauty and 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 just absolute strength of this game is how strategic it is, how your production phase uh, comes comes in, and 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 you know making sure that you get the proper units uh, and your technology cards. Your technology cards really help you out a lot here. This is just an unbelievable. Uh, experience. I love the U-boat phase in there. Oh God, yeah, the U-boat. You know, I mean, there's just a lot of things that really, you know, normally people always think of World War One games as these giant trench games, um, but this one just takes World War One and just lays it out and does it as beautifully as as anybody has done it. And um, uh, the, the cards are fantastic. The artwork is fantastic. The the counters are some of the best counters I've ever uh, I've ever seen uh, Compass produce. And this is overall aesthetically a beautiful game, but with fantastic gameplay and depth for uh, you know uh, for a um, for a time period that is really underrepresented at times and. Uh, the lamps, uh, the lamps are going out is a must-have for any Wargamers collection. I highly suggest it. You can check and uh, see if you can get it from Compass Games or check out our good friends over at Miniature Market and pick it up. I definitely suggest it because I think this one is definitely for you. So until next time, it's your old pal Rob saying we will see you soon and check out our next War and Pieces. Bye.